Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of Salesforce for Beginner series. In today's video, we are going to discuss about page layouts in Salesforce. Page layouts control the layout and organization of buttons, fields as controls, visual force pages, custom links, and related list on object record pages. Page layout helps to determine which fields are visible read only and required on our records edit pages as well as record view page page layout should not be used as only means to hide sensitive data from user as user can still access the records or fields from other parts of a platform like using queries or uh, they can also update the records using dml operations okay Page layouts are used to customize the content of record pages for our object for different different users. Okay, so we can assign page layouts uh, like different page layouts to different users based on their profiles. Okay, so we have a concept of page layout assignments in Salesforce. Okay, so uh, let's go to the Salesforce and we'll check there how we can create a page layout, how we can edit a page layout and how we can assign a page layout to different different profiles. Okay. In our Salesforce org, let's go to the account tab. So uh, you'll find list of accounts over there. So uh, just open one of the account from there. Okay. So the details which is visible on your screen is nothing but the page layout for our account object records. Okay. So you can see these fields, right? You can see these many buttons. Then you have options to go to the other parts of a page layout right and these are nothing but the related lists uh, to the account object fine so this is nothing but a page layout so what we are going to do is we'll just go to setup and we'll search account now you can just scroll down to see uh, details related to accounts so we can see fields validation rules triggers etc right so we have a page layouts here also so just open this page layout you will see the list of page layouts that are present for our account object okay so uh, we have five page layouts now and we have a new button over here using which we can create an additional page layouts for our account objects if it is a requirement for us and we can also control the page layout assignment to different users using this button okay so first what i'll do is i'll just uh, create a new page layout so that we can see how a page layout gets created okay now when you click on new page layout you can see there is there are two ways of creating a page layout first either you can clone from the existing page layout or you can directly uh, create a new page layout okay so let's name our page layout as account demo and we'll select account layout as an existing page layout to clone from it okay and we'll click on save okay so now we are here and uh, this is nothing but a page layout editor okay so this page layout editor allows you to create a page layout for your object okay on the top of a page layout editor you can find a palette okay and uh, uh, the bottom part is layout for your page okay now palette is a static portion of your page layout editor so if you scroll down uh, see the palette appears on the top of page always okay so and what does palette have so palettes have various options for you to select so that you can take take these things uh, on your page layout so you have fields you have buttons to select from you have custom links quick actions then you have related list components visual force pages which you can drag from here into your page layout okay so for now what we'll do we'll go to the field section and uh, let's say we want account source field into our page layout okay right now it is not there okay so the page layout from which we cloned our new page layout so the existing page layout didn't have this account source field so i'll just add this account source field over here okay so you can see account source page a field is added here 
and let's say I'll remove this uh, domains field I don't require this field okay and what I'll do is uh, now suppose I need to make this account source as mandatory field on page layout for part, uh, all my users right so what I'll do is I'll go into this properties part and I'll make it as required I can make it as read only also so what read only will do it will just appear uh, make field appear as read only so you cannot edit it while creating the record of account okay and if I mentioned it required so that would be a required field and you have to enter value into this field uh, while creating your account record so I'll make it as required for now okay and this SIC code I'll make it as read only fine so I'll click on save okay and this related list so these are the child objects of your account okay so uh, they can appear as a related list to uh, your accounts uh, page fine so I'll click on save now So we have created our new account page layout this is account demo right now this page layout has been created but we have not assigned this page layout to any of your users right so how do we assign this page layout to some of the users so can we so that we can verify how it is uh, visible so we'll go to this page layout assignment okay and now based on the profiles we can assign page layout to your user so what would be the profile for my user let's say I, uh, it's a system administrator so i'll go to system administrator part okay and change the page layout from account layout to the new layout i have created so i'll click on edit assignment here right and for system administrator i'll select this row and i'll select the page layout to use so it would be account demo right and it got changed over here and now i'll click on save so system administrator would see now account demo page layout for your account records okay so let's go to the account record so now uh, you can see we have sic code over here right and we don't have account source over here so if i refresh this page now I can find account source also added to my page layout right now if I click on edit uh, remember so account source we have made as mandatory right correct so I'll select value for this and only then I'll be able to save if I don't select some value if I click on save so it will throw me an error that you must enter value for this field as this is a mandatory field so I'll select as web for this and click on save right when you are on record page uh, on the right side you can find a quick access menu okay so if you click on this quick access menu it will expand and you will able to see various options what you can perform on this object records okay so you can view the fields related to the object you can view the object itself you can view validation rules present on the object for which uh, the record you are viewing and you can also edit the layout so if you click on this edit layout you will be redirected to page layout editor and uh, the default page layout selected would be the page layout which is applicable to this record okay so if i click on edit layout over here i'll be redirected to page layout editor and you can see the default page layout selected over here is account demo so i'll be making changes to account demo page layouts here okay so let's say we just want to remove this uh, last survey sent field from account layout so i'll just remove it click on save and fine so i did remove this field from our page layout okay correct so if you want to edit existing page layouts so that also you can do it so you just have to go to the page layout screen and select the page layout you want to edit and you can edit that page layout okay so this is about page layout uh, if you have any doubts you can ask in comment section and do not forget to subscribe this channel okay thank you